In far-flung areas of the Philippine countryside, many communities are saddled with multifaceted problems. Problems that call for long-term responses. Only collective efforts can provide. Perched on mountain slopes or hidden by distant valleys, emerging from the edge of Kogona lands and rice fields, these villages are now being reached by agents of development. Villagers live simple lives and are tradition bound. Their most urgent concern being how to eke out sustenance from the soil. Life in the villages is full of challenges. The rural folk, having very little, are compelled to face the harsh realities of life. Cut off from the urban center, this village is one example. The village could be reached only by foot on a trail that wends and dips through valleys and forests. In this faraway village and in other depressed communities, a heartwarming story of human concern and ingenuity has been taking place. The story of the Red Cross Village Health Program. This new system in health service delivery operates on the philosophy of self-reliance, an objective which dovetails with the fundamental policies of the government. The first batch of trainees under the program is now at work in the remote villages. This woman is one of them. She herself is a member of the ethnic group in the village where she works. She has been helping the villagers in combating the spread of dreaded diseases like gastroenteritis, which has victimized many children. <laughs> The Red Cross volunteers' most important mission is to unlock the door to opportunities, whereby the rural folk can discover their worth and dignity as participants in their community development. Here, the volunteer teaches the villagers to make use of medicinal herbs that grow in abundance in the locality. With the prohibitive cost of medicine, the use of indigenous, easily acquired substitutes saves the villagers from expenses. In another village, 
a Red Cross health worker comes upon a community with untidy children. She demonstrates basic practices on hygiene among the children in an effort to effect attitudinal change among their parents. This young mother has not seen a doctor all throughout her pregnancy, a condition that normally requires careful and constant medical attention. With her adequate training under the Red Cross Health Program, the volunteer is qualified to give basic advice on prenatal and postnatal care. To be effective in his mission, the Red Cross health worker must gain acceptance in the community. This open well has been the sole source of washing and potable water among the residents of this village. The Red Cross health worker explains that the water, if left exposed to the elements, becomes the source of dysentery, cholera, and other diseases. He knows that old age notions and practices are hard to break. So he employs diplomacy, tact, and a little firmness in educating the village folks. The stagnant pool, on the other hand, has been the breeding ground for mosquitoes. The Red Cross volunteer points out that the pool could be tapped for irrigation purposes by diverting it into narrow canals leading to the vegetable patches nearby. The villagers' educative process is not limited to health care. Here, the Red Cross health worker teaches the man how to make fertilizer out of waste products. Under the guidance of the health worker, these men installed a water-sealed latrine, now a model in the community.
The wisdom of harnessing available community resources starts to sink into the villagers' minds. Now, a sizable area of the neighborhood is planted to a wide variety of medicinal herbs. Despite the relative abundance of farm crops, the villagers suffer from malnutrition. This is one area of health care delivery wherein the volunteer devotes much of her efforts. The villagers must be taught the nutritive value of food available in their community and the importance of a balanced diet and good eating habits. The health worker finds out that the substandard social economic life in the village is compounded by a high birth rate. She launches a family planning program among the housewives, at least wherein birth control techniques like, in this case, the rhythm method, are discussed thoroughly. Deep within the hinterlands lives an ethnic group called Aetas. Due to isolation and their own preference, this group of people has remained primitive in culture and lifestyle. Learning how to live among them, the Red Cross health worker has been slowly but steadily disengaging the villagers from the hold of superstition and witchcraft. It took time before these villagers accepted the fact that a newly drowned individual could still be saved by artificial respiration. Likewise, the accident-prone natives needed first aid, easy-to-learn techniques, which this volunteer demonstrated using the splinting method. The villagers now begin to appreciate the potency of scientific and practical health care methods. A vital part of the volunteers' activities is the blood typing of the community folk. This enables the residents to turn to each other in times of emergency in a way awakening them to their own potentials. As the volunteer responds to the call of the needy, there is no destination too far to reach, no impediment too difficult to overcome. Even the floodwaters that isolated this village did not prevent this Red Cross health worker from carrying out his mission. Upon learning of the upsurge of parasitism in one village, 
the health worker immediately launched a deworming operation. The new experience at first frightened quite a number of the timid village children, but eventually, right after the sweet taste of medicine had been savored, the afflicted came in droves. Understandably, caring for and treating the infants are the most popular aspects of the volunteers' health care delivery service. volunteer is at work, a high mortality rate among the infants is reported. <laughs> Attending to prenatal and postpartum cases, conducting sputum smear tests, and detecting cases of tuberculosis. These are among the activities the Red Cross volunteer has been adequately trained to perform. Lack of medicine and unsanitary health practices caused this child's sores, which started merely as a mosquito bite. The volunteer shows the child's mother that in the absence of medicine, the sores could be washed and treated with boiled guava leaves, a proven antidote to common skin diseases. Cases like this are common in the village, necessitating a more sustained health education drive. <laughs> Because the Red Cross Village health workers operate in places seldom visited by doctors and nurses, they refer patients in serious condition to the nearest hospital. In situations like this, the volunteer helps devise ways and means by which the seriously sick are ferried to medical centers as fast as possible. This is done the cooperative way, with whatever means the villagers can avail of. In many different ways, with a dedicated and personal sense of involvement, the volunteers' work constitutes the core of a cooperative endeavor that arises from the awareness of people's right to a healthy living. The Red Cross, with all the resources it could muster, stands behind this humanitarian undertaking, striving to strengthen the institutions that make the movement effective and viable. The volunteers' initial successes, gained despite enormous difficulties, are enough to merit this resolve. This resolve underlines policies and the continuing program that emanate from the nerve center of the Red Cross in Manila, which is determined to keep its village health program an undying pursuit. But the story of the Red Cross Village Health Program does not and must not end here. That something has been done, that concern has been shown, that people have been motivated 
to the self-propelling and productive individuals. At the moment, these are enough reasons to compel more support, more involvement. The challenge is far from over. So vast is the countryside. So many are those who are yet to be reached. With the Red Cross Village health workers paving the way, thousands of possibilities have been opened up, needing to be faced, to be conquered. The Red Cross needs your support for humanity.